Welcome to the Aegis Secure Key 3.0 instructional series, Section 1, Establishing the Administrator Personal Identification Number, or Admin PIN for short. Before you can do anything on the Secure Key 3.0, you first have to establish an Admin PIN. Once that's set, you can then program key functions, add a second user PIN, or you can skip all of that and put this drive right to work using the Admin PIN as your sole access. When creating an admin pin, and the second user pin for that matter, remember that each one has to be between 7 and 16 characters in length and can't be repeating or sequential numbers like 99999 or 1234567. Nine. Once you have an admin pin in mind, the first thing we do with this drive is wake it up by pressing the unlock button. At this point, you'll see the green and blue LEDs steadily illuminated, indicating that it doesn't have an admin pin programmed yet. Next, press the unlock and the 9 button simultaneously. Now the green LED will be blinking and the blue LED remains steadily illuminated. Enter your unique pin and press the unlock button again. The blue LED should go out momentarily while the green LED continues blinking. Wait a second or two and the blue LED will resume illuminating steadily. Now just enter that same pin again to confirm it. Press the unlock button one last time. When you see the blue LED illuminated by itself, you'll know you've successfully added the admin pin and, by the way, you're also in the admin mode where you can now set key function parameters or add another user, which we'll cover in our next video tutorial. To exit the admin mode, press the lock button or do nothing for 30 seconds and the secure key will return to its locked state. If you'd like to just have the admin pin as the only programmed pin, that's fine. When you want to use the drive in the future, just press the unlock button, enter your admin pin, and press the unlock button again. The green blinking LED lets you know that your secure key is ready to be plugged into a USB port and put right to work. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching and check out our other instructional videos on the Aegis Secure Key 3.0 at apricorn.com.